guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. Welcome to Follow Me Friday, where motion is lotion. And today we are freeing up and opening up those hips today. You can do this on a mat or in your bed. We are gonna be in a hands and knees position or in a seated position. So let's get started. So again, starting in that hands and knees position, we're gonna push those hips off to one side Sit it back, you can bend into those elbows and then hips to the other side and forward. We're gonna do three in each direction. You can make these as small or as big as you're able to. As you go around, you might be able to get a little bit bigger as you go, which is what I usually find. And I usually get a few snap, crackle and pops in there too. And then switch your brain <laughs> to switch directions. Same idea though. We really wanna make sure we're getting all of that motion. And let your body move. Don't be stiff with this one. We do want to get lots of motion going. One more. Ah, totally love that one. Okay, here, as long as it feels okay, you're gonna keep your knees where they are, but you're gonna to try to bring your lower leg out just a touch, and then you're gonna rock back. Notice I cannot rock back all the way, and that is okay but we're getting to the inside of that hip joint. So just as far as is comfortable for you. There's three right there. I'm gonna do two more just cause this feels quite good right now. <laughs> you get a little extra added bonus. Good, okay, from here, now we're gonna go the opposite way. We're gonna bring our knees wider. We're gonna press all the way back. And then as I come forward, we're gonna let the body actually go all the way forward. So I'm stretching out in through those hip flexors a little, as well as into the muscles that help rotate. So that's one, just a nice slow controlled movement here. Two. Three, try to press those hips down towards the ground. And a little extra hold right here. And we're going into a seated position. I'm gonna face you guys. Hi. We're gonna bring one knee. So about, if you were on your mat, about mat width apart or hip width apart, I'm gonna bring one knee down towards the mat, the other knee down towards the mat, and I'm actually going to let myself rotate and even rotate all the way around. So stretching in through here, if you wanna stretch the quad out a little bit more, you just bring this knee a little bit closer or knee, lower leg, I should say. But of course, be careful and nice to your joints, right? It's okay if they don't go all the way down to the ground, and it's okay if it's not comfortable to turn. A little windshield wipery. Nice and slow and controlled. Try to follow your breath here. And we're gonna get one more to each side. Hopefully you're getting a little bit more motion as you go. Okay, coming back to the center again. We're gonna start with the soles of the feet together in that little bit of a butterfly pose. From here, I'm gonna kind of grab those inner thighs, straighten out, and then it's walk the hands over. Inhale in the center, walk the hands over, and slide back to the middle. So just pausing briefly in each position here. Again, kind of walk it or slide it on over. Slide away. Inner thighs getting a nice little stretch here too now. One more like this. See if you can get a little bit wider. You can always put a pillow underneath your hips too when you're sitting, if that makes it more comfortable for you or even a little yoga block. And then one more. That is a little bit more challenging, but it does feel good if you're able to do it. Crossing one ankle over that knee, and you're gonna stay here like this. And then you're gonna add a little rock side to side. Just like this, just nice and controlled. Again, paying attention to where it feels okay for your body to go into the motion. And we're gonna switch sides. I'm just gonna... <laughs> slide it around, it's the same idea. If you can't cross all the way over, you certainly could do this as an option instead and add that little rock. 
or even keeping that foot on the ground. I just, just really like this one. <laughs> and this hip really needs it. Yay. So again, if this is uncomfortable too, you could always, of course, go back down a little bit further if need be, so you don't kill those arms, although you can work them a little too, right, at the same time. And there you have it. You should be feeling a little bit freer. Thank you so much for tuning in today, you guys. If you want to get rid of pain anywhere in your body, on your own, with just one little portable device, don't forget to check out the Derma Edge. I created this while I was going through Lyme disease to help get rid of my pain on my own, nice and gently. It's patented and made in the US, actually right down the road in Laconia from where my office is. So don't forget, you can click the link here or in the description to order your own.